carpet. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent in letters in the night. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks, just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right, claim your 15 minutes of fame and usual good food, and I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even some dancing. Come join the show at Moe's at 8. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be back to the music. Mail carrier, Mayor. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost driver? Ghost driver? Yeah, you know, people driving off. Nope. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much.
That's the last of them. So ends a week full of turmoil. Didn't say that again. Only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. I guess you can't have it all, Frank. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Nope. Hold the line. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Wow, that sounds quite nice, actually. Of course, and it's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. Gonna run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well, I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me. Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, P.O. is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave all that behind? Yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to. Is it just work-related, or...? Are there other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. 
Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the stakes out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well. This is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. <sighs> I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but... I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic... You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Ooh, boy. The world would be bored. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? It... Depends on who's on the round. Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? It's not right to gossip. So, I won't do that. Ha, huh, you're a better pro- Oh well, small towns. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the inner. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert, sorry to break up your conversation. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night. Oh, okay, Maureen. Nope. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your luck. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen. Meredith, thanks again for your help. Not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here on your mail delivery vacation. I might actually extend my stay here. Are you serious? That would be nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Wagon West. Good night, Meredith. You too, Robert. But you're not leaving without a hug. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, 
A woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! Well, folks, what? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue sh Mildred, how are you? Fine, on both counts. Do so, do you like the hair? Love it. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time. Really? What? You see, my son decided to drop by. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in a... Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Ah, oh, poor you. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Guess who? Jeffrey Beaumont? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappoint- Even better, though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Oh, it's great so far. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Busy packing, I guess. Super busy. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have more time to... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of this sea turtle. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. So, where are you going to take it? Not sure. Might stay here for the time being. Aw, you should definitely take it for a spin, babe. What if I come with you? Hmm, I have grown quite fond of you, you know. Likewise, Miss Weiss. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. Angie, wait. Dear people, none other than our own KF. She has been writing songs since she was a little to host her first performance. I am so proud of Drive on, or go left, go right. Suddenly, these choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance for every break you get. You leave another one behind. Just as long as you keep trying, you will get there.
This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Well, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me, like, a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was... I will definitely be doing that again. That was... Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think... Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch. Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? It was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. Honestly, I just want to give her the option. And if she doesn't, that's fine. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up with? Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen. You're two grown women. And if that's the choice you... Speaking of choices, you know what you're gonna do yet? Honestly, no. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. I 
guess I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. That's a bit direct. I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And, huh, I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. But how do you live your life then? Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly... And whatever path you take will come with... There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. That's what makes life... Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if... Maureen? Thanks. For everything. I best get back inside. Take care, Maureen. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith, thanks. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, uh, not so fast, Frank. It's... If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha! <laughs> you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing you-know-what. P.O. positive or pet peeve? I don't need callers for today's P.O. Positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. Thank you much, Moe and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Ah. Uh... <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. Hey, Meredith, sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Well, this is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and probably a lot more things, but... I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, you're a woman, I like you. A lot. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. Okay. Coffee at Moe's? And a piece of pie. Sorry for butting in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. 
I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own KF. 